What's up, everyone? Sean here from Crypto and Cause Investing, bringing you a very exciting token review. And today we're going to be talking about Sinja. So let's hop on over to stealthnetwork.vip and check it out. So the Stealth Network, where cells help your bag. So let's go ahead and read further. I Stealth, a series of secret Sinja stealth launches within the same ecosystem where each token supports the other. Then I Dump, an ecosystem where dumping means pumping. One token dumps, it automatically uses those taxes to buy back the previous token in the ecosystem. Then I pump. Eventually, all taxes lead to marketing. Let's lay it out below. So we have multiple tokens. We have a 5% buy tax, which is for marketing and buybacks. We have a 3% sell tax, which is gone to the devs, which I have no issue with that. As a developer myself, the hours that we put into developing these projects are crazy. I mean, it's more than a regular job. So I don't have an issue with the devs finding some kind of way to compensate themselves because you never want to sell the chart because you put in all that hard work that you don't want to hurt it. We have a trillion supply per token. We have an automatic constant burn, no team watts, which that does go back to the devs taking that 3% tax. So there are no team watts because they obviously do not want to sell the chart and hurt it. And this is on the Ethereum blockchain. All right, so how does this all work? So we're going to have Stealth 1, which will send funds to the marketing wad. We're going to have Stealth 2, which buys back Stealth 1 and also funds the marketing wad. We have Stealth 3 buying back Stealth 2 and again, funding the marketing wad. Then we're going to have Stealth 4 buying back Stealth 3 and you guessed it, funding that marketing wad. So let's go a little bit deeper and dig into the details of how each one works. So Stealth 1, 5% buy tax to marketing wallet. All marketing funds promote the next Stealth. So Stealth 1 is basically just setting the stage for all the rest. Then we have Stealth 2. Sell tax buys back Stealth 1 and burns it. And then sell tax on Stealth 1 means fat marketing wallet to promote Stealth 3. Then that leads us into Stealth 3, which of course buys back Stealth 2 and burns it. Sales on Stealth 1 means fat marketing wallet to promote Stealth 4. Once we get into Stealth 4, again, it buys back Stealth 3 and burns it, which sends funds to the marketing wallet getting ready for Stealth 5. Then that gives us the last one, Stealth 5, which um, buys back Stealth 4 and burns that one. And then sales on that means, again, the fat marketing wallet, which leads to Stealth 6 and so on. And I already know what some people are going to say. This is basically just a Ponzi scheme. Well, from someone that's kind of connected and very much in the know and the behind the scenes stuff going on in DeFi, this is actually what a lot of devs do. Some of the most successful projects are some of these most successful DGENs or memes or whatever you want to call them. They'll start one project, get it going. They'll start another project and use funds from that project to go back to the first one. Then they'll start a third, a fourth. It's something that a lot of devs do. I very much have known devs that have done this. So basically, Sendra took that and it, they made it their business model because the number one thing in DeFi is what happens to token launches. Majority of them do not have any revenue to be self-sustaining, so it eventually dies down. Well, with this business model, when that, I guess, first one starts getting stale, they launch the second one, and that brings all that hype back, all that buying pressure back, which keeps the money in the ecosystem. When that one starts to go down, you're going to start three, which again, gets everyone excited, everyone buying, again, keeping that money in the ecosystem. So it's actually intriguing to see something that's actually based completely on that and to see how it's going to work. I personally think it's going to be super successful because again, you have to have money flowing in to make these projects work. So when two is going to one, three is going to two, it actually can work very, very well. So again, I am definitely going to keep tabs on every single token that they launch so we can see exactly how this is working. All right, so become part of the network. Each stealth token buys back the previous token, burns it, constantly reducing supply. Stealth 1 token contains the marketing wallet, which finances the promotion of the next stealth. As the community builds... So too is the buying pressure, making it easier for investors to make money from each stealth and offset any losses on previous stealth launches by holding and waiting for buyback support from each subsequent stealth launch. 
Or instead of chasing green candles on the newly launched stealth, you could buy into the previous token when the new one is pumping, positioning yourself for the income and pump as the dump and buyback begins. Instead of hopping from one rug to another, catching the top of the green candle and losing all on the dumps, hop from one stealth to the next, benefit from the dumps and support all your bags across one ecosystem. Know your investment is safe and that your previous investments are always supported by new stealths and continue to rise in value as the community grows across all tokens. Stealth Network is a revolutionary ecosystem designed to support and grow your investment, creating an ecosystem where a dump can be turned into a pump. Be part of the Stealth Network and work multiple bags with every buy or sell across one network. So again, I am genuinely excited about this project and to see exactly how it works because it, like I said in the previous little segment, that every project eventually dies down because that hype dies. Well, when you're constantly having new launches to support the previous one, it brings that hype back because everyone wants to get in. If the first one five X's or 10 X's, everyone's going to be thinking that next one's going to do it. They're going to hop in and more than likely will. And then the momentum just keeps going and just keeps that money inside of this ecosystem. So let's go ahead and check out some of the frequently asked questions. So how will we know about the stealths? They will drop without warning at any time, which is exactly how stealth works. You'll need to be an active part of the community to get in early. The contract address will be dropped on one of our um, official social media platforms. Only use the official contract address provided in the official channel. And that goes for any token. Never ever use contract addresses except from the official Telegram, official Twitter, things like that. So many people try to scam you that way. So what if I miss out on the pump? You never miss a pump with Stealth Network as one chart dumps, another pumps. What are the benefits of Stealth Network? The exciting part of Stealth Network is marketing the ecosystem as a whole. In turn, marketing every token within. Instead of leaping from one project to project, you get the opportunity to take part in multiple launches on the one network. Each launch assisting the last, reducing supply, and each building a healthy marketing watch. So we have our socials right here. As usual, if you follow this channel, I will go ahead and link to Twitter, link to Telegram in the description down below. So all you have to do is click on it and get where you need to go. Highly recommend, hop on over to that Telegram, ask any questions that you have. But that will do it for today's video. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, trade safe.